Hi guys! Uh, this video is about the coronavirus. I am sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but I actually don't know how to read the word correctly. But I'm pretty sure everybody knows what I'm talking about. So I wanted to bring this up to bring it into a different perception, another perspective maybe. A lot of people are, um, some people are tapping into the fear of this virus, into the belief of what the medias are showing us. Other people are tapping into exactly the opposite, where they are laughing at it and say that it's, the, it's all for the money, it's a medical media stunt, they just want us to pay the money and control us. So we got both directions, this side and this side. Um, but none of them is in balance because one of them is saying fear and the other one is saying hatred. So where's the love? You see? When we have these life crisis situations, um, emotionally patterns is always triggered. And <laughs> sometimes it feels a bit like, like, am I gonna fall or am I gonna fall harder? Because you, <laughs> you tap into fear or hatred and none of that is creating the vibration you actually need which is love safety and peace so let's bring it into some perceptions yeah this virus no let's let's take the pros and cons let's okay <clears throat> over here yes humans have created biological weapons yes it is a part of our society today it is presenting itself in different forms, different matters. Some of those who are visible and easy are things like these viruses. It's things like the takes who have Bolivia, whatever, uh, where we basically are blaming the animals, but in the end it's actually connected to human behavior and human uh, powers. Hmm? Um, sorry, I tapped, I tapped into the... It's because there's this ambulance and I stepped into it, so I completely lost where we were. Yeah. Um, biological weapons, yeah. But uh, medical industry, are they uh, getting a lot of money out of these kind of situations? Yes, they are. But it is with 100% sure guarantee not all doctors who are like that. There's a lot of beautiful beings who are in the medical industry. They truly wish from their heart, from the inner self to help humanity. They are teached and learned up by these books and, and, and beliefs of what is right and what is wrong. It's, it's exactly the same as religion. They do it with their greatest intentions. There is a few people, a few energies around this world who are wanting to control one over another but the main crowd wishes to help themselves and each other so we need to turn down the hatred and focus upon how we can solve it within ourselves every virus needs to be a vibrationally match to something within your system in order of you to becoming one with it for every dope, there is an antidote. I am not talking about human vaccines necessarily, because there are some of those who are also created to maintain uh, us out of balance. <laughs> so it's not, it's really not easy. But there is also some of them which is created out of of people truly wanting to help others as homopathical medications, which is of course natural, but it was also created. It is created to help humanity. If we truly want to be free of illnesses and diseases, we need to turn down hatreds and fear and focus on trust and faith within ourselves and within each other. If you are too much controlled by the media, if you feel fearful or angry every time you have been looking at that screen, turn it off for a week or just for a day. 
walk out your door and ask yourself, what do I see with my own two eyes? What do I feel with my own heart? What is represented in this very moment for me? The virus is real. It doesn't matter if it was created one way or another because right now it's floating around. I do not see this virus as something more bad than the others who are there. It is just new and it's used, uh, it's been blowing up a lot because with fear you can control people. And I do feel sad for those who are influenced and I do feel sad for those who will leave our planet. <laughs> it is true that it is a part of the plan that some of these things are hitting us in this time. Um, so what do we do from where we are standing? How do we approach it? We seek to ourselves, we seek to our hearts, we seek within what we trust and what we believe in. We look with our own two eyes how reality looks from there. We as a crowd stand together instead of fighting each other. And we look into our physical, mental and spiritually health. So <laughs> viruses, as I said, is easy. But other things like being controlled by the weather or whatever ingredients they, there is put into food or these kind of sneaking control things. What we can do is we can become more conscious of ourselves and our own lives. We can become more conscious about what we eat, what we drink, how we feel and how we are responding to the world around us, surrounding us every day in our daily life. In this world, reality, there is duality. It's a part of the game on Earth. <laughs> and I know that we are talking about this non-duality kind of thing, but here um, vibrations are having exchanges and it forms into something and it forms into something else, but it's never nothing. Within nothing, it is everything. So... Oh, I don't know how to explain this differently. Um, <laughs> so in a world there is the way that it is in this moment. We have to go to acceptance. Not to ignore what is. But to accept what is. And learn how to live our lives. And rebuild it from where we are standing. Together. As one union. I don't know how this perception or this talk at eight minutes um, are resonating with your perception of this virus. I don't know if it will bring you peace or if it will bring you fear or if it will bring you anything at all. But I would love to hear how it felt for you. What I believe is important is that we always look back to and remember what Einstein used to say, what Tesla used to say. I always use these tools, guys, because I love them so much. And because they often talk like language that I sort of kind of understand. And yet they make it sound so complicated when it actually is quite simple. So everything is frequency and vibrations. So is a vaccine. So is a virus. So is everything that vibrates inside of you. Become conscious about that. And you will... Learn how to navigate in life with everything there is. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> or evening. Whoops. Or afternoon. Doo doo. <laughs>